Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 19 of our channel Fazda Homes. In this episode, the head mason Mr. Paul Yao Entry will bring to you the plastering of the outhouse and the security post. If you are new here, all that this channel is about is to repurpose an old bungalow into additional dwelling units. So journey with us as we go through this transformation. This presentation is going to be in three, but essentially what he will be doing is to take you through the plastering of the security post and then the bedroom at the ground floor of the outhouse and then he will go upstairs and show you all the work that he did. At the end, I will come in and give you the material quantities and the labor costs for plastering the outhouse, the security post and the fence wall.
Je vous This is how the finished plastic work came out. Next will be the material quantities and the labor cost for plastering the security post, the fence wall, and the outhouse. At this point, I will kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. As I always say, this is your way of encouraging us to bring you more content. All that it takes is for you to click on the Fazda Homes icon at the bottom right corner and you will be subscribed. We hope that with your support, you will end 2023 with about 500 subscribers. We really appreciate your support. So this is the cost breakdown for plastering the outhouse, the security post and the fence wall. We had to buy 150 bags of cement between 88 Ghana cities and 90 Ghana cities. So the total came up to 13,300 Ghana cities. We bought 100 bags of waterproof cement at 6 Ghana cities each for a total of 600 Ghana cities. We bought two trips of sand at 2,500 Ghana cities each for a total of 5,000 Ghana cities. We paid 800 Ghana cities for the masons to dig around the fence to expose the foundation for the application of the waterproof cement. The miscellaneous expenses came up to 1,450 Ghana cities and the masons charged us 16,000 Ghana cities to plaster the outhouse, the security post and the fence wall. So the total cost for the plastering came up to 37,000 150 Ghana cities. All too soon, we have come to the end of this episode. In episode 20, we will bring to you the exquisite design of our fence wall by Ibenko Building Design. And we had a big surprise for the workers. At the time we contacted them, they didn't know that my wife and I were on our way to Ghana. And so the first few videos we watched at the airport when they sent us the initial work that they were carrying out. The remaining part of the project we witness ourselves so we recorded them and so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of the exciting episodes that are going to follow thank you and see you soon